Hey guys, me host Supersorrel, thank you very much for tuning in. Today's a little bit of a sombre video, a little bit of a quieter video, and um, I can't believe it. I still can't believe the news that Stanley, the man who's given us so many characters, amazing memories and stories, has sadly passed away. I mean, he did live to a good old age, and... He's now going to a better place where he can be reunited with his Joni, his wife, and uh, wishing all the best for all his family right now at this hard time. But it's a hard time for us, us as fans as well. Um, this man gave us some amazing stories. And I've sort of talked about it before, sort of my connection with Marvel. And since I was a kid, very young, I've always been into reading the comics. Uh, when we'd go away uh, in the caravan and stuff as a kid to the seaside I would always get the X-Men comics, the Spider-Man comics and then when I was in hospital and I was going through all my problems and disabilities and having all the, the, the recreative surgery that I needed I was always getting magazines, books, comics and the comics I always got were always Spider-Man and X-Men. They've been my go-to comics for my entire life. Mainly because X-Men kind of made me feel... I felt a connection to it. X-Men's about people who don't fit in and a society that doesn't quite understand how to, how to look after them and how to you know, be around them. And as a disabled person growing up in the UK in the 90s, you know, having a, a prosthetic leg, a colostomy bag, all the issues that I've got, my, my, pro, my problems are very visible. And... I know the X-Men was my outlet of, you know, people don't understand me, I got, I got bullied, people used to pick on the fact that I had a false leg, I could never run, people used to laugh at the fact that I couldn't run. And it was always really hard for me, but my outlet was Marvel. You know, that was full of comic books of people that were just like me, who, just, who were different, who weren't quite, you know, the average person. And I enjoyed reading that. And Spider-Man... You know, obviously with that great power comes great responsibility, as we know. And Stan Lee wrote all that, and he gave us all that. So us as fans, you know, it's really hard for us now. We've got to, you know, Marvel's obviously going to keep going. It's going to keep becoming stronger and stronger. The movies are stronger than ever. The industry, you know, that they're in, is, <laughs> the entertainment industry is never going to go away. And Marvel's never going to go away. It's only going to get bigger and better. I'm just sad that Stan won't live to see that. He's lived to see the Thanos be on the big screen, that build up to that moment, so I'm glad he got to see all that. But it's just sad that he won't be around anymore. Obviously we've been aware of Stan's always been very visible in his company. You know, he was always wrote in the back of all the of all the comics, especially in the UK edition ones, he always had the editor's column at the back with people's letters and Stan Lee would respond back. And He's just a great, great guy, and we're going to totally miss him. I never got the chance to meet him. He was at MCM London a couple of years ago, and I just I never got a chance to go see him, and I really regret that now. But um, I've got my vinyl idol. I'm glad I've got this now. This is something I can always look on and smile at. I think it represents him really well. So these are the uh, Funko vinyl idols, guys, if anyone's interested. You can still get these um, until Marvel Legends give us the Stan Lee figure. This is my go-to figure. And of course we've got the amazing, fantastic, incredible and marvellous memoir of Stan Lee. Presented in comic book form, what other, what other format would you put Stan Lee's life in? Guys, it's a sad day for all us Marvel fans. And I want to thank you for listening to my little story about my connection with Marvel. And uh, I hope you guys... I've been taking the time to remember the life of this man and uh, sit, you know, sit down later on, read a comic, watch one of the movies, play one of the games, remember Stan for the guy he was, Stan the man, Stan Lee. Guys, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Soup Sorrel. If you did enjoy this video and you, you, you're, you're like me and you felt different and the comics gave you an outlet to talk to, you know, to read about, hit me up in the comments, let me know your thoughts. Give the video a thumbs up and make sure you smash that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon. May the force be with you. Excelsior. Bye bye.